But we are heating up right now as we head into grand finals. Absolutely. Bobo on the winner's side of things. Jen has to win two sets to make this tournament his. And for, uh, I could see it going either way. Normally, I just give it to Jen. He's one of the best players in New York. He's a fantastic player. Right. Um, uh, this I'm going to stop with top the top quality. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, all right, all right. Shit. Stuff is not <laughs> cooking right <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. We are going. and We're trying to find leftovers in the freezer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, things are getting all right, back. All right, we're, we're playing some neutral now. Let's I go. do like the statement that that very beginning said. Yeah, they just like looked at the, the face off. The face off. It's the face off that also says like, if I don't approach, if I don't have to approach, I am not going to. Exactly. Understand this. Both of them came to that agreement, that understanding between the two of them. Yeah, exactly. When it comes to that, I feel like the power is in Snake ha Snake's hands, though. I think he gets to control whether that, the game is played the, or not. That's the thing, though. Is that he uh, he didn't throw projectiles or anything? It wasn't some projectile battle. He stopped doing what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I mean, I yes. think he saw he saw Jen wasn't doing anything. So he's like, all right, I'm not gonna do anything. And also, like, keep in mind, Palutena can threaten that range. Oh yeah. She has the auto reticle and she has the explosive flame. Yeah. So you know, doing nothing is better than doing something. If it doing is. something gets you hit. Exactly. But I think a different, yeah, yeah. The difference is though, um, deal, Palu can deal with it at that range, but it's not as pressuring because you can react to everything. Whereas, Bo I mean, you still can with Snake, but it's a little bit, it's, there's more to it, right? It's like explosions going all over the place. Yeah, and not only that, but like Snake, when he's at range, it helps him like, in, he's kind of trapping you at range. Yes. You know, it's not like Palu, it's like, I throw this out and I hope you get hit. Yeah, exactly. Instead, it's like, I throw this out, and I am already limiting your options so I can make my next move. Right. Uh, but Bobo does not spend too much time dwelling on it. He evens up the stock count pretty quickly, but Jen is, has planted his feet firmly in the middle of the stage and already managed to get just around 95% off of consistent damage. Uh, I guess when it comes up, uh, I'll be on PSA duty and I'll let the everyone at home know where the C4 is on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Somebody he's dead. Needs, he's he's dead. fine. He's dead. Not Never mind. Oh, he untackable. He untackable I was, uh, <laughs> I was very wrong about that. And that's really bad for him because he loses the rage. You know, yeah, like, yeah, like, not snake definitely wait, abuses that. Yeah, because like if you are at 80 against the snake at 150, you're all of a sudden, him. yeah, your boots are sweaty. Uh, but 80 when snakes at zero, I mean, you know, your maybe your toes are a little, a little greased, but you're not actually that worried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jen has to be wary of until now, because it will kill. The strong hit, at least. Oh, is it? He? Jen? What a nut. Woohoo! What a nut. Did he say he's switching characters? I uh, did not. I think he hear. asked him, "Are you switching characters?" I don't think that. I don't think either of them are switching. Now. Probably. That's I think he was just asking that. How's like, the rule set though? I feel like it's a uh, it's stage and then characters. Is it not? It is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but he was maybe trying to catch him off guard. Yeah. Listen, I mean, there's. Th that, you don't know the rules. You don't know the rules. It's never against the rules to ask beforehand. Yeah. Exactly. Your opponent could say, oh, uh, sorry, the rules here are you have to say the character. And you're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. But they can't kick you out of the tournament for trying. Nope. Uh, for I can once, definitely ignorance that. is an excuse in the eyes of the law. <laughs> yep. They're staying their mains. Sticking and it out. Kalos. Now, what advantage? Why do you think Snake would... Well, Palo, Palo kills a little bit later. Big blast zones here. I think Snake can kill a little bit more easily than Palo can, so that might but benefit. At the same time, uh, how many stocks were actually off the top? I think most of them were. Uh, well, both the side and the top are the largest at Kalos. But he was like, he died off the bottom twice. What was his, uh, but what was his first stock? Well, I really can't recall. I don't know. I think it was, I think it was just like a back air. But he can, um, if he gets spiked, he can tech the side. That is true. Yeah. I know Bobo was telling me earlier that um, in his set against, I think it was Shy Guy or um, I think it might have been Ray actually. 
where he got spiked on Yoshi's story like six times in a row, and he teched every single one. And he made it back. So yeah, I think he, he really like, likes uh, stages with walls like that for that reason. Right, so far, this game is much more even than the last one. We saw only about 2% separating them, but more important than that, both of them are pretty much in danger of dying. All right, I'm actually like this. Like, Jen is not trying to really commit too hard to chase down Bobo when he's recovering high. Instead, he throws out an explosive flame and is like, if you happen to be reversed into this or whatever, then you die. But... Right. Oh, oh, he got the foot to the C4. Okay. I've seen okay. him get that, actually. It's it's a real thing. Oh. Yep, that's, that's where the counter pick comes to play. Oh, it did not matter. He actually did get an extra 7% from the uh, Cypher, whatever it's called. Is that B? Hey, we take that. Already at 40, yeah. Yeah, the reverse Nairus to 48%. See you, Jen. Ooh. Oh, if he gets the read, he gets the kill. No. Nope. Oh, wow. I, I think scary. actually, I, I really like the, just the choice of timing on that. Because that's something we see Bobo do all the time. He will go for the short hop after he lays them down on the ground. Right. And it covers a lot of options, including yep. the biggest one is get him attack. Against me, he'll just stand there and shield. Cause, like, no, C4! Oh, he forgot. Alright, C4 is now back in the exact same place as it was. He's just like, hmm, that seemed to work last time. And it does again! I think that's another reason the stage is good. Just the platforms and right. they seem like really good places to stick to C4. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, will you make this back in a bad, really bad spot? Uh, the fast fall there really made a difference. Yeah. Honestly, sometimes just fast falling to the ground is enough to, like, help you. Uh-huh, yeah, no, definitely. Fast fall Nair dodge is broken. I believe the C4 is on the other side of the stage. Uh, right now, this is sort of... Bobo feels like he's in control right now. 106% on Jen. He has many opportunities Ooh, to take the stock, there, as we see it. right there. Wow. <laughs> I was taking these low hushed tones because I didn't think it was going to end quite yet. But there, boom. In an like instant, that. gets that back air. And like, think about the fact that that back air, there was no lead-in into it. The only lead-in into it was that he just pressured him into the corner. Mm -hmm. Just by existing. Yep. All right. Now we're getting game three. Grand Finals, set one. Uh, Jen needs... Yeah, Jen, I mean, I feel like Jen is still... It's like one of those things where it's weird to say Jen is the better player when he's lost most of the games. But you can see that it's like Bobo, he needs the X Factor, whereas Jen doesn't. That's the way that I'd put it. And right now, Jen... Oh, sorry, Bobo is getting that X Factor. C4 is on the left platform, you know, just so all you kids are aware. Uh, I didn't think that, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. No! Just wow. in time! Oops. That was an um, any at the grenade to save him? Uh, that was that one was of the nice. coolest recoveries I've seen in a long time. Wait, you can't you can't sticky them when you're in the air, a snake, right? Like it has to be grounded. I am unfamiliar. What's he gonna do? Get up attack. I think get up attack is actually the best option for that. Well, keep in mind that he, he has the short hop thing. Yeah, he has the short hop thing, which he loves to do. But right. the fact that he was punished for it earlier, I think that discharged him just a little bit, and that's why it worked that time. Right. Oh, he's sticking up. Wait, you can stick on the shield? shield? Am I an idiot? Yeah, you can. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's like usually where they get most of those. Yeah, 
Yeah. And so at one point, like earlier on, you know, it looked like Bobo was about to lose his stock and Jen was only going to have like 60% on him. But then after that really nice recovery, this is a pound and even game, I'd say. Yes, he is down a percent right now, but considering the respective survivability of these two characters, Jen has been dying much earlier than him. Right. Oh, he's going to have to see for his way back. And he doesn't have the time. It was so smart knowing he had to put himself into lag in order to do that. Right. Just goes out there to meet him. Now, this is such a curious place as Palutena because you have the lead, right? You're not, you don't have to approach it. But against Snake, like, what does the defensive game plan look like when you still are constantly threatened by him at range? Yeah. Um, I really don't know how he would play it differently. I've just noticed that Jen actually took him back to Bobo's kind of pick. Yeah. Interesting. I'm not sure if that was because he was salty that he lost here or if he actually felt like this is the best place to have taken him. I won't kill after the nurse, no way. Wow, the armor on that. Yeah, well, he's tight. But uh, attack! Tech no, again? No tech there. Yes, oh, he can! can? Ah, you know tech in that, though. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Not down airs in general actually have much less knockback. Uh, just the way that the game is programmed. You right. Is it also because, like, the don't... angle you're sent at, too, probably? It is. Well, I, I think the bigger part of it is the fact that down airs in general. Because, like, you know, when you imagine getting knocked downwards, uh, the distance, like, the base knockback is just not that high. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise you'd be dying to, like, think about how far, like, a forward tilt sends you. And if yeah. you at zero. And if you take that and you point it downwards, then, like, spikes will kill at zero. Okay. And against a lot of characters. So yeah. in general, they usually have lower knockback, which shows up when, you know, you get hit at really high percents, you're able to tech much later than you would think. Yeah, right. Well, like, if you compare to, like, up versus down, the, ver like, verticality moves that send up usually have just higher knockback than the moves that would send down. Right. Okay. That's interesting. Also, might have something to do with gravity in this game. But anyway, uh, moving, oh, moving on here. About 118 percent. This is relatively even, though. Oh my God, he almost killed with that perfectly placed C4, but not quite. And this matchup, it feels so stock taken dependent. Like how you mean like how consistently they take the stocks? It, like the, it, like, like the percentage just doesn't matter. Yeah, percent doesn't really matter yeah. because of Bobo's survivability, and I mean that's the biggest part. The fact that he just survives a really high percent and then is able to kill. That when Bobo when right. uh, when Jen takes an early lead, it doesn't necessarily mean that much. No. Nope. Like I mean, yeah, that's the game. Whoever did, you don't win by doing more percent. You win by taking three stocks. Nice up tilt from uh, uh, Bobo in before stamina mode. <laughs> yeah, make me eat my words. There's a C4 underneath him, or above him. It's on that platform. Okay. Ooh, he's trying to bait him into throwing out the, uh, he's trying to detonate it. Okay, he did forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, PSA, it is on the red of the Pokeball. I feel the need to tell people this because yeah, people no, forget. <laughs> oh, oh, that was so that, good. Yeah, good reaction from Bobo. Seeing that uh, Chen got hit by that. And he has the lead now. Yeah, wow, what a turnaround. I mean, this is kind of what I was saying before. Like, I feel like Bobo kind of needs the X Factor to win. That huge combo, that huge stock, it yeah, ooh, might still not it. be enough to win the game because look at this. I there to up to that combo. I forgot that that was even a thing. I guess it's more of a thing now, especially considering that Nair, Nair. the last hit doesn't kill and the up to kills earlier. So it's earlier. like more useful, right? Yeah, and yeah. the up to kills earlier now. Oh, Someone's yeah. sticky. Who's it? I forgot about that, too. 
That will do it. Wow. I don't know. I couldn't keep track of who that, was sticking this. Reset, right? That is a reset. Yeah. Bobo, after having worked so hard to get to the winner's side of Grand Finals, that's wrenched away from him. They're now on an even playing field. Doesn't matter. The next player who wins three games wins Encore 98. 92, 98, what do we add here? Is, it, is this 98? I think it's 92. No, it's I know 98. I won Encore 69. 91, like 91. Right, right, right. 91, fun in the sun. I will forever, like, hold that. I won Encore 69. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Pretty soon, actually, in like in a few months, we're gonna have Encore 100. <laughs> I guess that is how math works. About nine weeks. <laughs> Encore 100 coming up. That's crazy. I remember when this place opened. Yeah, me too. Well, we could have dash attacked that. I think that's what he wanted. I don't think he wanted the S smash. Ooh, he reacted to him doing the C4, exploding the C4 and nearing that. That was really good. All right, this set starting off with pretty even. And I'd say, for the most part, what an air dodge. That was beautiful. Oh, my God. Jen so aware. He knew he got sticky, and he was watching the animations of Bobo. And then as soon as he saw it, he air dodged towards the ground. He was actually there in time to punish it. Yep. <laughs> Oh, he tucked the feet. Listen, the we, they taught us a thing or two at basic training. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, they used to crawl under the wire mesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, for, for snakes, they had explosions on top of them. Way out there. Let's see how will he finish his food? Oh. All right, Bobo will finish it for him. No worries, Jen. You know when there's like a bunch of other sound effects going on, the music for this stage in particular sounds like JoJo music. I kind of get what you mean, yeah. You could part with a piano or something. I don't uh huh. Know. You're talking about a uh, uh, Dio's theme, right? Like the meme? Probably, yes, the meme thing. I haven't actually seen yeah, JoJo. I've I only, only seen the first the two parts, themes. so I don't. I haven't seen the, the point where that song plays, but I know what you mean. Oh my god, Jen, you... What? 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 And Jen was like, no, nah, you're going to die to this bear, but you didn't get the bear, so Jen just died. <laughs> what? That doesn't, answer my, that doesn't answer my question. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's as best as I can explain it. Yeah, I, it just happens. Was Jen at zero? Was that like a yeah, zero? He was at, he's at like 20 or 30. He had a big lead, that, though. that felt like it was his game to lose, and he really kind of chose And he lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, that is game one for Bobo. He did lose the first yeah, set. Yeah, but like, it doesn't even feel like he won that game. Yeah, that's always weird. You know, you're just like, do I have momentum moving into game two? <laughs> yeah, right. Because, like, my opponent probably must feel bad, but I don't feel great either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that grenade pull was so good. Yeah, if, if you see, like, a snake that's holding a grenade, you know, like, holding a shield, what is the best approach to dealing with that? He's dead. Well, he's holding what? a grenade? Yeah, because if you hit it, it'll like explode the shield. You gotta space around the, you gotta space around the space? grenade. And you have to realize his only option is the shield or hold the grenade, because there's only two options. Oh, wow, that Cypher also really helps him out because he ends up having, you know, gets off a ledge for free. All right, the stocks are evened up pretty quickly. That Explosive Flame doing a really good job with that, but... Now we're back to that even playing field, and it feels like Bobo, at least in this game, has had a lot more momentum than the last one. He won the last one, technically speaking. Bobo is not taking like full advantage of these stickies that he's getting. He 
just like blows him right away. And both times he's gotten it, he's got, didn't get anything out of it. Well, I think maybe he's kind of. I mean, I'm not gonna say like he's hoping that Jen hasn't noticed. Yeah, that's like. I don't. I don't like the idea of playing around your opponent being bad. And, you know what I mean? Listen, you don't play the game, you play your opponent. If your opponent's bad, then you play it and your opponent's bad. But <laughs> it's just so risky to rely on that. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially, it's risky to rely that Jen is bad. There yeah, are lots the, of players. The, like, number two or number there, three player. Yeah, yeah. There, there are a lot of players that it is a perfect strategy oh, to do absolutely. that. Oh, absolutely. They're the kinds of players who don't really realize it's what's like going on. Your typical 0 2 1 2 Joe Schmo. Like, go for it. Hey, Joe Schmo goes 2 2. <laughs> okay, Joe Schmo's 2 2. By the way, everyone is welcome at Encore. If you do go 0-2, you get to play in the uh, redemption bracket. <laughs> yeah. Just remind me. Also, if you go 0-2, pay attention a little. <laughs> Shoutouts to all the 0-2 players. They do actually, I, I'm not even joking, they keep the scene alive. Yeah. Absolutely. Anyway, Jen. That's the stock lead, and as a result, he doesn't have to worry about getting a kill on Snake. Like, that's the really big thing. That's what makes the difference of... That's what makes taking stocks in the game so hard. Is the fact that your opponent just has to get damage on you, and you have to actually get a move that kills. Yeah, it's like it's really easy to equalize because of that reason. Because it's, it's a lot easier to rack up percent than it is to take a stock for most characters. Yeah. Oh, he has to regrab ledge here. He has yeah. to die here. Yeah. Die there. All right, so <laughs> back to back, both players just throwing away the last And I think I even time. said that. I think they're running it back. Oh, and we're running it back. So back to back to back. All right, we're gonna have five <laughs> games on Pokemon Stadium I, Two. I, I Every so. game is gonna end with an SD. <laughs> <laughs> so if the pattern continues, Bobo, Bobo won the set. <laughs> That's true, Congrats, yeah. Bobo. <laughs> they trade back and forth. All you gotta do is say the course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, going for that huge forward air, but doesn't quite connect. Getting something like that would be game changing for him. Wow! Oh my god, the grenade. <laughs> Doomed, hoisted by his own petard. <laughs> uh, another up there. Could we get a. <laughs> he could have gotten a. Jen is messing that up. Very, like, shocking counter for him. Great time. That's. I mean, I realize it's not the perfect answer, but it's an answer that a lot of people forget about. Do nothing. Wait. Yep. You're on the ground. You're already in that bad position. You can also react to what he does. Exactly. Oh, forward air into explosive flame. That was spicy. It, it didn't look that cool, but not a lot of power teams would that. I, he knew the exact spacing of that. That was pretty cool, actually. So that sounds like the, the meme theme. Anyway, I'm yeah, a musician. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm a musician, so I, uh, I know. Oh, you are? Yes. Oh, yeah, you're majoring in like, musical scoring or something? I, I finished my degree in film scoring, yeah. Oh, nice. If anybody ever needs a score for their film and or video game, <laughs> add me on Twitter at saltyfun underscore SSB. Who knows? Maybe you'll get someone watching the stream. Never know. I mean, I have gotten uh, some gigs, like, scoring some of the things. Like, I, I did a score for some of the docs. Speaking of which, I, what am, where's uh, Hero King Anna at? I just realized I haven't heard of him. Wait, from where's what at? Hero King Anna? I haven't heard from him in a long time. Uh, I don't know how it is. He was the guy who was making the NYC documentaries. Yeah, I didn't even know that was going, good. Uh, that was going on. Anyway, we have an even game here that we need to talk about. What looked like was oh, a done deal might be killed. done in a different way. All right, then. Got it. almost killed. Jen, the prophecy. Oh, wow. Nice oh read. Oh, my. Get a TP past that. Nikita. 
Bobo holding all the control in the world. Yeah, I, we oh haven't really seen God. him. Like, I actually would have popped off if he got This is the first him. time we've really seen him let trap like that. Like, actually. Like, yeah. For the most part, no, when he's been getting his damage, it's not from a solid that was, sequence that like that. was like top tier let's play there. Not gonna do it. There is not C4 is right Where there in the middle of the stage. I wanted to bring people's attention because you never know when it might matter. Oops, C4. He knows, he knows, he knows. The instant C4, and that actually puts Bobo up in the in the set count. Yep. In the game count, rather. Yeah, wow. Jen is one game away from after losing to Bobo and clawing all his way back through losers, winning the first set of grands. He might still lose it after everything. Wow. Let's see how both players keep their composure here. What? Let's see how both players lose their composure here. Uh, keep their composure here. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see how they lose. Like, Let's see how they just freak out over time. <laughs> Uh, 39%. When did that happen? When? How? Dude, that's Snake. That's Snake in a nutshell. I defend Dude, the... Uh, he's at a Bobo in the he's last, like, three hundred. minutes, like, collectively throughout, like, the set has just been so dominant. Oh, that was a zero, zero dead. This might be it. Like, I, I think Bobo has this. I, now we, I don't like, think... Excuse me. Uh, Jen is kind of... It's so strange. He's looking worse for wear, but when you look at his expression, it's still stone cold. I think he still knows what he has to do in order yeah. to win. It's just yeah. a matter that what he has to do now is a lot harder than it was before. But we're seeing Bobo get up to a new level. This would be double eliminating him. What a read throw! Okay. That pretty much puts him absolutely yeah. back in the running. What could have been the, the end of Jen's run. He is alive. Back, Jen. Jen. Nice. C4 in the middle of the stage. Yeah, great. That, Jen's doing a good job now. Uh, he'll go to the C4, but he'll know he's timing it up to not get hit by air. Oh, he could have shielded that one. He was a little overconfident on the spacing. That up tilt, though. Was that the weak hit? Uh, it might have been. I actually don't know. The, the weak hit's at the top of the up tilt, like the late hit. Oh, yeah, okay, Bobo, now he's starting to, Bobo he's starting is, to I mean, vocally emote. He's known for being vocal and then not actually being that tight, like uh, salty. Like, he, he's still, like, somewhat composed. Oh, and this, <laughs> we have now entered a war of attrition phase here. Ever, both of them know that the risk, in, both of them know the risk involved in approaching the opponent and messing up. And so they're just throwing out these projectiles. Jen is trying to find his way in, trying to find a neutral air. Bobo aware of that is, has his own trap set up. That could be the opening, but no, it's snatched from him in just an instant again. Bobo <gasps> <laughs> at 90. Wow, great spot, guys. <laughs> at this point, up tilt is a super scary option. But Palu is getting some dangers no. of herself. I didn't even see when oh, it came good. down. And that's going to be it. Bobo takes the set, takes the tournament. He is the grand champion.